Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're gonna start uh, integrating AngularJS into uh, the new application that we're gonna build it. Uh, okay, let's get started. Uh, I have created a new folder called my app, my desktop, and uh, let's create a couple of folders, uh, JS to my JavaScript files and then CSS for my CSS files and then uh, let's just put this uh, the editor that I'm using is called Sublime you can go ahead and use uh, the editor of your choice here I'm gonna create a new file called index.html and uh, all right, let's get started. Uh, let's save it first. So index.html. Adding the initial HTML slash head, and then body slash body. Here I'm gonna put the title as well. Go and give my Angular app. Now, in order for this to work with Angular, first of all, we have to include uh, the Angular library. So let's search for Angular CDN. I'm going to use a CDN for it instead of downloading and including. It's easier. So let's go to the first link and uh, let's see what we have. Yep, scripts. All right, cool. Let's go over here. Now, let's in the JS folder. I'm gonna create a new file. Call it app.js. So let's define our first Angular module. In order to define a module in Angular, you basically write Angular dot module. Then you name your module like my app. And then you also need to define the dependencies, basically the, mod the, the, the modules that this uh, module depends on. In this case, there is nothing at the moment. I'm going to assign this to a variable that I can use throughout the app. The next thing that we need to create is a controller. So let's create a controller and let's name it my controller. And then this is the function that is going to define what's going on in that controller. We have to also pass a, spe a special variable called scope, which is kind of like a model uh, in MVC pattern, basically a glue between the view and the controller. Uh, all right, cool. Now, to make this page, uh, work with the app that we've already created. We need to go to the DOM element, in this case our body, that we want this module to work on. We're gonna type ng app and then we assign the name of the app. Be careful not to assign this one, but the actual name of the module, which is my app. And then you also need to say the controller which is going to control this piece of uh, element. So in our case, my controller. My controller. All right. Just to, to make sure that this is working, we just need to try two plus two. Basically, these two. Uh, Tell that we are going to do a, an angular binding. In this case, I want to validate these two plus two. So, okay, let's see what would be the result. Let's go here, let's click on index.html, and you can see that it's two plus two. Let's see what we did wrong. Um, all right, so we have our job. Okay, right, I have to include this JS. JavaScript that I've created over here as well. So I'm going to do SRC and 
app.js. Let's go back. Let's try it. Uh, let's see if everything is right. Yes, I have to write JS and app. Now, all right, cool. So you can see that it works. One more thing, and that's about the scope that I talked about. So, whatever that you want to bind uh, in your view, in this case here, from the controller, you basically put it on the scope variable. So, if I type scope dot uh, info equals to this is my first first Angular application, and then I will use this info, and instead of these two plus two, I will find here the info. So I'm going to type info here. And I will see, or I should see the text here, scope the info. This is my first application. I'm going to choose this info, put it here. Let's see what we get. We should get that text. Yes, there we go. So as you can see, we have assigned a variable in our scope and set this and then we basically do a binding that binds whatever we've defined in our controller on the view that we have thank you very much for listening guys